Hello, Rugby Sea Wolf Gaming. We are doing Wim World. This is my own custom scenario. Outside that, let's just hop in. Outside that, we are gonna land with these for the lovely people. Hutch, Bombint, and Fumiko. Yeah, I'm setting up something. Give me a minute. So, if you don't know what this game is, basically we are stuck on the fringes of civilized space. And we have to either get off this world, or it becomes our tomb. And that's just them being sick. I wish I would. Somewhere. Maybe. Okay, you see these little chunks of the uh, of a spaceship lying around? And that generally means that you can get some good stuff. And there are also horses nearby. Which means if I can tame one of them, I'll be able to have a mount. Maybe a pack animal. That's going to be a mess for later. So right now we need to basically build a mini encampment.
have a first cup. In case you don't know, we are building a little far from the coast, so that way we won't have to worry about naval bombardments, but that ain't gonna happen, at least in this game. Basically this is gonna be an introduction to the series and uh, what case scenario game we were gonna get ourselves stuck in. Long story short, Long story short, at least this is my personal scenario, so I'm not gonna bore you with that. You are looking at the Looking at the remnants of the third platoon of the 14th UEF Light Infantry Battalion. If any of you know what UEF means, good for you. Good for you, let us know down in the comments. I'm being mean, but just a little like, gag I do. That said, this is basically going to be us mainly making our base of operations. And for you ask, yes, I do have the height. This I her amount to what we're going to be doing.
gonna respect Mass for the first couple of episodes. And your pawns will get into these wacky little snag enemies, such as uh, a cheerious cloud watching. Let me sorry, never doing that so loud. I'm recording a video. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, small problem, but but outside that. We're gonna see how long it can last. Now, there's the word I was looking for. I'm out. That word was think I'd be dead. <laughs> Okay, the dreams are set. Now comes the next bit. Which is beds. Right, to construct a new roof.
and Yumiko has our first bed. I'm just making that. Okay, and as you can see, I have it on three times normal speed. We are going to try to get this done before it gets colder. So let me tell you, you do not want snow in your territory because it just it's not good at all, let me tell you. And you can either kill animals, or you, or they can basically pass normally, such as that turtle. Just sad, I know, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Like no one said survival on the rim was going to be easy. I can tell you that. I'll just set the uh, bill to a bunch of creatures and do it for him. Okay, and now uh, one thing you can do is later on I'm gonna basically make like a. Um, so I'm basically gonna make a little meat. Then we'll be able to keep corpses refrigerated until we need them. Which admittedly sounds weird, but but again, no one said survival on the rim is going to be easy, okay? So don't blame me. One thing I want to point out is these boomalopes are incredibly useful, but they're incredibly dangerous. Useful because they give you chem fuel, which you can use for various snap the enemy, but dangerous because when they die, they explode. There are a couple of variants. How are you selling? Vital. Okay, so it was these 
to. Hang on, let me check my. Now I have to check my messages. Yeah, one right, one wrong. Dang it. You hurt. There is our campfire. Nice and roaring. I'm gonna set this up. So when we're down to four, we will cook a handful of meats. And as you can see, a good portion of the meat is allowed, save for a sight, mainly the insect. Human and very certain meats. Well, I mean, not like, I mean, like, yes, we're living in hard times. Hard times. I mean, like, God, we're not cannibals. So I'll set this right up for. Cool. Don't know how that popped up. See where it is. And there it is. Okay, down here are basically the room stats. They can be a little irritating. But it's another thing can be pretty useful. Now you need to see what one's room looks like. Okay, so this is basically going to be the manufacturing wing, is what I've been doing. So basically, hollowing it out, and then we're gonna put some stuff in which will enable us to like make stones and stuff. Okay, we're gonna get into that. Oh, and we have a chihuahua named Otis. Either I'm being crazy, or he became. Okay. If anyone knows, like the little joke behind the uh, Otis theme here, let me know down in the comments, please. Cause I can't be the only one thinking it. Okay, so these guys are doing their thing. Meantime, I can basically begin to build that production. And we need more steel. Well, there are space chunks. And uh, there is uh, 720 bits of steel here, so we can use that. One thing you want to... I know what a lot of you will be thinking. What is this structure? That I'm shaking my cursor over. Well, I'm going to be honest with you. It's an ancient structure and it will have... Valuable loot, but at the same time it will have very... Very dangerous... I was playing Wind World a couple years back, and uh, we were able to see inside one of these. And what happened was an insect bit a rock that was basically supporting a good chunk of roof. Next thing we know, it instantly became a crab cake. Like I'm not even joking. The rock came down and. Crunched it, compacted that thing, just splat. Well, there's no usable tail, which means we're gonna have to build our own. We didn't want to do that, but. I'm 
I set up some forms over here. Cancel all that for now. So now with our base set up, let's make some things where our guys and gals can basically relax themselves. Okay, and as soon as this comes down, this will be our first building. I will assign our one, I will assign that to that bed. Well, oh, well, that's said and done. Drop a like, leave a comment. Hit the bell for new videos. If you can, please subscribe. Peace out, Wolfpack.